Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up the PlayStation Classic controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator. So, one second, I'm just going to move the. Yeah, I'll just move the mic back a bit so it's a little more comfortable for me. Okay, so let me show you the controller. This is the controller I'm referring to, the one that is wired and wired via USB. It literally is just plug and play. There's a bit of mapping that you have to do in PCSX2, which I'll show you. But all you want to do is type in game to start menu. And we want to go to set up USB game controllers. Only reason we're doing this is to confirm that it's actually connected. You don't actually need to do it, it's just to see if it's connected. So I'm gonna plug this in. Uh, port just to the side here, and it should pop up in a second. Okay, it's popped up. If I go to properties, we can start pressing the keys, and as you can see, it detects all of our keys. And that's it. As you can see, it is connected and working now. And you should be able to use this for a variety of other stuff as well for regular PC games or you just need to map it in the settings of that particular game or other emulators which is pretty cool it's just nice plug and play you get an old school PlayStation controller and okay so I want to close that down open up PCSX2 make sure it's closed when you connect it if it's not just closing and reopen it because sometimes when you connect the controller it doesn't always detect it and go to config controllers plugin settings pad one you might already have some you know button configurations there if you want to keep them for whatever reason keep them if not just click clear all and now let's start configuring it before we do you might notice one obvious downside to this controller no analog sticks and the original playstation controller playstation one controller didn't come with analog sticks and these buttons were also smaller they get a little larger later on and uh, you know as they introduce the DualShock they add the analog sticks but the original OG Sony PlayStation controller was like this so yeah that's just one little limitation so that means you are either going to have to use something else on the controller for the analog sticks which means you can't use that particular you know, button for something else or you know what it's meant to be used for or have another controller that you are using as well just for analog sticks or something with a keyboard and mouse or you might just be using a game like the one i'm going to test which is tekken which doesn't actually need analog sticks so again that's just a little caveat so let's just start mapping this the face button Triangle, square, X, and circle. Now let's do start and select. Start and select. And now let's do R1 and R2. Skip R3 because we don't have an analog stick. But again, you can map it to anything else. Now let's do the D-pad. Up, left, and down. Okay, so let's do the shoulder buttons and there we go so that's it you can mess around with the sensitivity if you want and um, but that's it there's no other buttons other than the ones i've just mapped so let's click apply go to ok and i want to minimize this go to cd dvd iso selector already got a game selected i'm gonna go to system fast boot and make this a little larger go I've just turned the volume down and go to random and just play one little match you know the lines on the screen are nothing to do with the fact that I've plugged in a controller you know they're there because I'll be messing around with some shader stuff we really need to fix that if I remember I'm gonna fix it after this video Okay, as you can see, it is working. You can end the video right now if you want to, or you can continue watching me play. See if I can get a perfect. Oh, I'm gonna stay away. Oh, almost so close yet so far. It's going to boxing mode. 
Oh yeah. Bruce and the Ripoff is down. Oh Marduk. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna click escape and pause the game. And that's it. That's how you connect your PC I mean your PlayStation Classic controller to your PCSX2 emulator on Windows. I've done it for Linux as well and other emulators, so feel free to check out those videos. More videos are coming on a daily basis. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Just pop me a message and I will assist. So, I'll see you soon.